Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video we're doing a quick unboxing of the Oak Ridge Viridian. So this particular one I have here is 45 pounds and is a left-handed model. Uh, the quality looks really good so we'll just go over the quick unboxing and I'll give you my impressions so far. So in the box I've got the bow, obviously 45 pounds left-handed, comes with the string. I'm not 100% sure if this is a factory string or if this was included by the uh, supplier that I got it from, but this is the one I got here anyway. Just double check if you do place an order. The string quality is pretty good. It's all the information there on the screen. This little addition here is my arrow rest. That's an extra, so that doesn't actually come in this pack. So that's the one I'm using. It's just a Hoyt Hunter. I was gonna go bare bow completely, but I decided to give this a try at first. So these come quite highly recommended. They're more durable than the other alternatives. So we'll see how it goes. I'll put a review up later on of how this bow shoots and what I think of the rest. But for now, so just be a quick unboxing. We'll put it together and see how it looks. So as you can see here on the limbs, they give you the 62 inches, 45 pounds. That's for this particular model. You'll also notice that the limb has the information on where it goes. So in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see it says upper and on the other limb, it says lower. So you can't mistake which one needs to go where. So far for the price, I'm super impressed by the build quality. There is a couple of little blemishes here or there. You'll probably notice them once the light hits them correctly. But honestly, for the price, brilliant value for money. I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna shoot, but we'll see. Looking at it though, definitely looks pretty good. So I don't think there's gonna to be too many problems. Fits the hand really nice. The grip's beautiful, nice and smooth, nice and comfortable. So as I said earlier, it's really easy to put together. Just take the two screws out and match the two limbs up correctly. So make sure you put the upper in the upper side and the lower on the lower side. Again, just look at the back of the limb, tells you exactly where to put everything and then just tighten it firmly. So don't over tighten it and obviously don't leave it too loose. So you can't really make any mistakes with that. I do suggest getting a bow stringer if you're gonna get something above 35 pounds. If you're a bigger guy or something, it's not gonna be too much of an issue.
Okay, so here's a quick look at the string. Quality looks pretty good. Again, entry level bow, but looking at the string quality, it's pretty good. It comes pre-waxed, the serving's on there. Strings up nicely. Obviously, remember the bigger end of the loop goes at the top and the smaller loop goes at the bottom. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that wraps things up for this video. As I said, just a quick overview. I'll put a review up and some more shooting stuff a little bit later on when I get a chance to actually use it fully. But for now, I'll wrap this one up there. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.